hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is tiffany so today oh my alarm's going off so today is thursday so we're almost to the weekend um i am in front of walgreens right now we're gonna run into walgreens um maybe do two or three transactions i definitely want to hit up a few different walgreens for the clearance i've heard around the block that um Walgreens clearance is supposed to hit 90 the Halloween stuff is supposed to hit 90% so the Walgreens that I'm at they had more of like the candy items for clearance um, there are two other Walgreens that are near me that I'm gonna check out later today so I'll definitely show you guys in at least this store what they have on clearance and if I do pick anything up I'll let you guys know like how much it was and everything like that um, but there are definitely at least two transactions that I want to do today provided that the items are actually there and in stock so let's go ahead and run inside so this is what this current Walgreens has right now 90% off there's not a whole lot, but one of the things that I'm going to pick up is going to be this cute little book that they have here for my kids. It's priced at $8.99, so 90% off would make it like 89 cents. So I'm definitely going to pick this up because it looks super cute. So definitely if you have a chance to stop by your Walgreens, see if your Walgreens is 90% off. So you guys can go ahead and pick up some items. Hopefully you guys can hear me because I'm standing literally right under a speaker, but the first thing that I'm going to pick up is going to be on some Nexus. So Nexus is on a promotion, spend 20, get $10 in Walgreens cash rewards. So the cash rewards is just like the same um, promotion that we're used to doing, which is spend 20, get 10,000 points, which is equivalent to $10 in Walgreens money. So they changed over their systems and now it's just called $10 Walgreens cash rewards. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up two of these shampoos priced at $15.49. That's going to take me just over $30 and I'm going to use the 25% off coupon. So that takes off 25% off regular price items and all of these are regular price. So that's going to take me down to about $23. I am going to be using some register rewards in this deal, but I am going to also be using points. So we're going to add a few more items into this transaction so that I can use 20,000 in points. So there are two different sales going on for Tresemme. So the larger bottles are on sale for two for eight dollars and then you have these over here the smaller one the 22 ounce they are on sale for 4.99 and when you buy two you get a two dollar register reward so i'm gonna go ahead and pick up two for 4.99 each i did yesterday while i was driving around my husband we did stop at the dollar store so i could pick up some inserts because we did get the unilever insert so like i told you guys in a couple of videos back that i've been trying to minimize how many inserts i buy so i think it's actually been like four weeks since i bought inserts so i went ahead went to the dollar store so the newspapers are a dollar so I spent four dollars and I used my couponing money to purchase those newspapers so in that newspaper in the Unilever insert we have this five off of two insert coupon for the Tresemme so we're gonna pick them up for $9.98 using a $5 off coupon so we're gonna be left to pay $4.98 getting Becky two dollar register reward and what just popped up on Ibotta is a dollar back rebates for Tresemme. Next we're gonna pick up some Suave Kids shampoo so it is per set $4.29 buy one get one 50% off. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up two of them. One will be $4.29 and one will be 50% off. And I'm going to use two of these $1.50 off one insert coupons. And these did come from the Unilever from this past Sunday. And we also have a dollar back rebate on each one of these. The last thing I'm going to pick up in this transaction is going to be some of these Suave Men. So they are also priced for buy one get one 50% off. You buy one at $4.49. The second one is going to be 50% off. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up only one of these for $4.49. And then I'm going to use this $1.50 off one insert coupon again from this past Sunday's Unilever insert. Alright, so here's everything that I'm picking up in this first transaction. We have the book for my kids. We have the Suave Kids. We have the Nexus. The Tresemme. I almost forgot to actually pick up the Suave Men. Oh my god. Okay, so this is everything that we're picking up in this transaction. 
So there's our suave men, our suave kids, the book for my kids, Nexus, and the Tresemme. So remember, we're working with the spend deal because the Nexus has been 20, get 10. So the coupons that I'm going to be using are right here. That's the 502 for the Tresemme, the $1.50 off for the suave, and then I'm using $10 in register rewards. So and just coupons because remember the system counts coupons as cash so i have 19 dollars and 50 cents in coupons which counts towards my spend 20 get 10 and then the remaining money that i pay after 20,000 points will also count so that is going to be my cash out of pocket so i only need to spend a minimum of 50 cents out of pocket in addition to my 12 uh, my 20,000 points to make sure that i get back the 10 dollars so i will show you guys my receipt after i'm done and show you guys that i get the points back make sure you guys are also checking out your clearance sections and look inside of like where they have the school and office supplies so a lot of these sharpies are on clearance for 29 cents and 20 cents 25 cents um there were some pens and stuff that were 60 cents 38 cents 33 40 cents of course all the pens and stuff were gone that were on clearance but i'm probably going to pick up a few of the permanent markers next transaction i'm going to do is i'm going to pick up some icy hot products so i had to change this up a little bit because i wanted to pick up two of these sprays but they only have one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick up one of the sprays for ten dollars and 99 cents and then i'm going to pick up one of the power gel um it looks like the little deodorant right here for seven dollars and 99 cents these are regular price items and it doesn't look like there's any type of sale going on in them because it's not tied to my store so hopefully when i get up there they're not a sale item but if they are regular price Price, then I'll be able to use my 25% off regular price items coupon and remember you get that when you do a ship to store order it'll be sent to your email so that's going to take up 25% off both of them and then we have an $8 digital coupon double check your account to make sure that you have it I had clipped it um, I want to say last week so make sure you have it so that's going to take off $8 and then we're also going to get back $3 from my bought it just for the spray not the gel because the gel does not qualify qualify for the rebate it's only for the icy hot all right you guys so i couldn't show you this in the aisle because there was someone standing there but i'm going to pick up the arm and hammer so they are on sale two for six dollars it includes the liquid as well and the um the little shaker beads but the ones that i'm going to pick up are these right here the power packs the four in one for six dollars so if you look for peelies sometimes you can find a dollar or 75 cent off peelies i have a dollar of peelies but i want to lower my out of pocket so i'm going to end up using a two dollar and three dollar register reward so i'm going to pair this in with the icy hot and there you can see the two permanent markers that i picked up that were on clearance because i'm going to be using this catalina spend 20 get 5,000 points so i'm going to take the 25 percent off regular price items off the icy hot and then i'm going to use my eight dollar digital for the icy hot and hopefully even though i'm using a digital the two dollar register reward and the three dollar register reward will still apply to the arm and hammer power packs that would leave me paying about $8 out of pocket, getting back 5,000 points for the booster, $3 back for my bottle for the Icy Hot, and then $9 back for the Arm & Hammer laundry detergent from Swagbuck. So let's go ahead and check out. Alright guys, so we are back from Walgreens. This is everything that we picked up. As you can already tell, there are two items that are missing, so I will explain that super, super quick. So I wanted to pick up the icy hot with my arm and hammer so that i can use that spend 20 get 5,000 point booster so i knew i was going to be paying a little bit out of pocket but i knew that i was going to immediately get that back on swag bucks and on ibotta so i went up to the register with the items and the eight dollar digital did not come off it does attach but it didn't come off so the manager says that she can give me eight thousand points for it but i would have to pay an additional eight dollars out of pocket because the eight dollar wouldn't be coming off um there are some people that do that that they aren't too concerned with how much they're paying out of pocket because the point return is high but i prefer having a lower out of pocket than i do getting a whole bunch of points back so 
I told her no thank you. I told her that I really appreciated her doing that because most managers won't do that and most managers will make you go through customer service. Um, she was trying to figure out if there was a way for her to like try to manually put it in, but she said there was no way for her to manually put it in. So I just went ahead and took that out of the transaction. So I did pick up the Arm & Hammer anyway because I thought it was a really good deal. So I picked those two up anyway for $6 and then I did throw in the Scott toilet paper. There was only one left. So I went ahead and picked that up and I will show you guys that receipt. So there's the power packs for $6, there's Sharpie for $0.20, cents, and then there is the Scott tool paper for $5. There is the store IVC for $1.25 off. So I used the dollar digital coupon for the Scott toilet paper. We have a dollar for the Scott toilet paper and a dollar for the Scott paper towel. So I used that dollar digital and then I used a $2 and a $3 register reward to lower my out of pocket. I honestly, since I wasn't using the point booster, I should have just used the um, dollar peelies. I should have just used the dollar peelies. That way I didn't have to waste my register rewards, but it's totally fine. So I paid a subtotal of $3.95. Um, I did use 4,000 points, so I literally just paid tax. And then I submitted my receipt to Swagbucks. And I did get back the $9 for the Arm & Hammer. And then I'm also going to submit my receipt to Fetch so that I can get some bonus points back on Scott. And then I believe there's a $0.25 cent rebate for Ibotta for the Scott as well. So when I was almost home, I, for whatever reason, I was like, oh, let me look at the coupons that I got. So when I looked at it, on the back of a smart source from the Sunday, there's a buy one, get one free for the Icy Hot. So I could have just used this since the $8 digital wasn't coming off, but for whatever reason, I didn't even think about this while I was in the store. I was just kind of trying to hurry up and get out of the store so that I can come back. Um, that's the same Walgreens that I normally have um an issue with the one specific cashier she wasn't there today but um i can't remember if she was coming in on a later shift so i really was just trying to like do my transactions and leave so i didn't even think about it but if you have the insert then you can use this coupon if your digital isn't coming off um it might be a little bit more out of pocket maybe like a dollar or two out of pocket because I don't know how much it's going to take off. I'm assuming with the 25% off taking it off of the lower price item for $7.99, I think it would make it about $5.99. So it might just take off $5.99. And then again, look for the Peelies for the Arm & Hammer. But then you can submit your receipt to Swagbucks. You'd get back the $9 for the Power Packs. Or if you can get the liquid, I believe the liquid is giving back $10, but my store only had one of the Clean and Simply, and the Clean and Simply is specifically the one that you need to pick up for the $10 rebate. Um, but the 4-in-1 Power Packs, my store had enough of them, so I could do that one and get back the $9, and I already submitted and I already got back $9. Um, and then you would submit to Ibotta for the Icy Hot, and you would get back $3 for the spray. So... Um, either way, you can try to use the digital if it'll work for you. Use the digital. If not, if you have the insert, then use that buy one, get one free. I just didn't think about it, so I just went ahead and took those off the table. And then we just did the arm and hammer, and I picked up the Scott paper towel, or the toilet paper. I really wanted paper towels um, because I feel like we have way more toilet paper than we do paper towels. But either way, paper products is a great thing. So even if you just run in to do anything, I would highly, highly, highly suggest doing the Arm & Hammer deal if you can find Peelies. Even if you can't, it's still a freebie and a money maker with swag bucks. And then picking up the Scott toilet paper paper towels. They're regular price, $5. There's a $1.25 IVC that you can use that's in the monthly savings book at the front of the store. Or you can load it digitally. And then there is a dollar digital coupon for the Scott toilet paper and a dollar digital coupon for the Scott paper towels. So the other transaction I did is with the Suave, the Tresemme, and the Nexus. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that receipt. So there is my Suave um, Men for $4.49. There's the Suave Kids for half price. There is the Tresemme for $4.99 each. So the book actually rang up as $8.99 and then 
I was like, hey, that's supposed to be running up 90% off because that's where it was. I showed you guys in the store. Um, the manager came over and she was like, oh, no, it's supposed to be 70% off. And I was like, no, the sign says 90. So she went over there because they had two different signs. They had one for 90% off um, Halloween goods and then 70% off candy. And the cashier, not the manager, said, oh, well, this counts as a Halloween good. So she went ahead and manually put it in for 89 cents. So because she did that, it counted as a regular price item and not a clearance item. So when I did my 25% off regular price items, it took off an additional 22 cents. So she went ahead and put that in at 90% off, which was 89 cents. So when you guys go in the stores and there are things that are in the Halloween section, if they have price tags on them that tell you to regular price, go ahead and do the math yourself. If it's tagged for 70% off or 90% off, do the math yourself to make sure that when you go to the register, it is actually ringing up the correct price. The same thing happened the other day when I was um, riding around with my husband. We stopped at a couple of different Walgreens to pick some stuff up. There was some candy that was not ringing up 70% uh, off. It was ringing up 50% off when it was tagged 70. But I did the math and I went up there and said, hey, this is 50% off, not 70% off. The manager came over, looked at the tag, and he manually put it in for me at 70% off. So just make sure you do your own math if the uh, price tag is provided for you. So just double check that before you go to the register. Um, so there is the Nexus for $15.49, both of them, and then the other Suave Kids for $4.29. So there's my 25% off regular price item, so that took off $9.03. So there is my $5 paper coupon for the Tresemme, my Suave coupons for $1.50 off. And I also didn't realize that I had a Nexus coupon, a digital, for $5 off. So I... Um, I had given her a $3 register reward, but she had done something, um, she had, like, pressed the payment button, um, before scanning all my coupons, so she had to avoid the transaction anyway, but before she did, I noticed that my, fi I had a $5 digital for the Nexus come off, so I was like, hey, I can use that instead of my $3 register reward and save an extra $2, so I went ahead and when she went to re-ring up the uh, transaction instead of giving her the seven and the three dollar register reward I just gave her the seven dollar register reward and thankfully that five dollar digital still came off so I actually ended up saving an extra two dollars because there is a five dollar Nexus digital so my subtotal was twenty two dollars and twenty four cents so I used twenty thousand in points so I paid a subtotal of two dollars and twenty four cents and let me fold this down I did get back the 10,000 in points, and there it is right there, bonus points, uh, 10,000. So I did get back the 10,000 for the Nexus, and I did get back the $2 register reward for the Tresemme, but I used that register reward in my second transaction with the Scott and the Arm & Hammer, so that's why I don't have it to show you guys. But I did get all the points back, and then I did get back $11 for my Bata. I got back a dollar for each of the Tresemme, each of the swab and then three dollars back for the nexus i almost forgot um so if you don't have the inserts there are digital coupons a dollar fifty off for the swab kids a dollar fifty off for the swab men there's a five dollar digital for the nexus and then there's a four off a two digital coupon for the tresemme so if for whatever reason you don't have the insert and you don't have any like um printable coupons from Unilever because Unilever will send out printable coupons to your email, um, then there are digital coupons that you can use as an option as well. So everything turned out perfectly in that transaction, so that was a really, really good transaction for me. And the uh, Arm & Hammer was also a really good deal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I don't have the, um, the Icy Hot here to show you guys. I was really, really excited about that deal because I love the smell of Icy Hot and Bengay. My mom calls me an old lady all the time, but I absolutely love the way that it smells. And I always have body aches, so I use it all the time um, or something 
to the equivalent of that. So I thought that was a really good deal to do. So definitely, if you guys don't do anything else, like I said, definitely do the Scott deal and definitely do the Arm & Hammer. It's already a moneymaker, um, whether you have Peelies or not, but it just makes it a little bit more of a moneymaker if you do have Peelies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will be heading over to Publix. There is a really good moneymaker there, so I'm hoping that between the three different Publixes that I have around here, actually four, um, that I'm able to find the product that's giving back a really good money maker. If I can, then tomorrow's video is going to be pretty cool. So fingers crossed I'm able to find what I need and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.